<gasps> okay, I'm sorry, something moved and it was big. Hi, I'm Kartha Gewert, coming at you with some salt and a microscope. Do you know why? No, why? <clears throat> you okay? Excuse me. <laughs> it's because I don't believe it. Believe what? I don't believe that there are little bugs in strawberries and that if I eat them without washing them, I'm getting extra protein. I don't believe it. Well, so what are you gonna do about it? So I've got three different types of strawberries here and I'm gonna make varying levels of saltwater concoctions and then we're gonna see if there's actually bugs in our strawberries and if our lives are ruined. I'm gonna look at it under a microscope just to make sure. Wow, seems like you got this all thought out. Yeah, I do. I do actually. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take some warm water, put it in this big bowl. Do they need to be submerged? Um, I'm gonna take that as a yes. So that's gonna be our big mama. That's gonna be our little son. Just kidding. More water. Three different concoctions because I don't wanna do it and depending on the results, go, oh, maybe I did it wrong. So this is going to be our vinegar and salt concoction. Salt and vinegar. Yeah, salt and vinegar. So we're gonna put in some salt. How much? Don't know. Okay. And then vinegar, I remember it being a lot, so. Stabby, stabby. Stabby, stabby. If you're wondering where my little dog is, well, he's getting some rest. Ew, that's disgusting. I'm gonna put a little more. Heard of salt and vinegar chips? Uh, I hate vinegar. Mm. Disgusting. Now it's gotta be warm water so the salt will combine. This water looks mucky to begin with. Okay, the salt's actually combining. This is just one of those things where like you see it, it goes viral. You just wanna know for yourself what the truth is because I'm not just gonna sit here and eat bugs. Honestly, I was thinking though, like if there are actually bugs in here, I don't know if I care to be honest. Okay, so in the vinegar and salt concoction, should I put all three types in? Um. Or is this to slander the strawberry brand with bugs yeah, in it? Yeah, it's probably to just find out if Probably just find, find out if there are bugs. Okay, so I'm gonna put all three. Ew, ew, what if there's bugs in here? Oh! Somebody in the comments was like, well, you have like little micro bugs on your skin and on your eyelashes. There's little bugs everywhere. So maybe it, it could just be. Oh my goodness, that's a stem. I thought it was a spider. Look at that. You see that? Terrifying. Anyways, I don't want to waste too many strawberries because I'm eating these later. Won't this make the strawberries, you know, salty? Maybe the bugs are what make them sweet. Ew. I've heard that like ants are quite sweet when you eat them. So maybe this is that. And some people say you leave it for five minutes. I'm going to leave them all for 30 minutes. I just want to be sure. Any bugs popping out at you? <laughs> Not yet. It's only been few seconds. There was a girl on TikTok who like really made it seem like a centipede came out of her strawberries. And I just don't believe it. I just, uh, I'm skeptical, okay? And when you're skeptical, you have to do science. Yes, science! You have to do science experiments. Should I do a little bit of salt for this one or a lot of salt for this one? Maybe a lot. Okay, this is gonna be the saltiest bowl we've ever had. Very salty, very salty. Indeed. This one just lost a match of Overwatch because it had a Torbjorn one trick on its team. Oh, the saltiest of salts. Looks like a bowl of sweat. Ew. This is actually what a bowl of tears would look like if it was a little warm. A little bowl of the ocean. Everyone loves a good old bowl of the ocean. Now, truth be told, I don't really wash my fruit before I eat them, so maybe this is finally gonna teach me my lesson that I deserve. Although it's kind of interesting to think, like maybe, maybe like if you're a vegetarian, you need a little extra protein. <laughs> Just eat them without washing them. Bowl number one. This is salt and vinegar, salt and vinegar chips. This right here is a sweet little girl. This is slightly salted. And this right here is the saltiest, saltiest, dyed with res in Valorant. Horrific. Bowl. Now, I'll see you in 30 minutes. Guess what? What? I realized that uh, I didn't have a cold water one, so there's a cold water one now. Cold water, quarter part vinegar, sprinkle of salt. We've got it all, baby. If there's bugs, they're coming out. Three kinds of strawberries, you kidding me? There's gotta be bugs. Whoa, look at my tattoo. That's crazy. It's like my skin is stained. 
Well, that's what a tattoo looks like up close. Let's see what these strawberries look like. In the first bowl here with the salt, the vinegar, and the warm water, I would say that the water actually looks quite clean. Can't say the same about some of the other options. We're gonna start here first. Take a little strawberry out. And then just kinda take a little look-see. Ew. Ew. I'm really not seeing too much. A lot of water. Yeah, it's a lot of water and it looks just very gross. What's all that moving stuff? I mean, it did bring the dirt to the top of this one, but I'm not gonna stop until I see some kind of bug. This one, clear. I'm gonna take a bite out of it. No, Stop. I need to wash it. It's, it's got vinegar on it. <gasps> Ew, I would have just eaten that hair without even thinking. You see that hair in there? Gross, disgusting. What is that? Ew, I'm going in. <gasps> a bug! Do you see that white thing? It's walking around. Oh, there's an actual bug on this one. This one's not clear. It's not clear and it's hanging out on this giant bush. Ah! We found one. We found one. These are like, these are like little aphids. These are tiny, tiny, tiny little guys. I'm so scared. We actually saw one. Ew, what is that? Okay, that low key looks like a beetle, but I think it's just a seed. There's something, there's something living on here. The top right corner, that little black dot. That thing's alive. There's a white thing moving. It's alive. My hands are like, they feel like itchy right now because I'm so distraught. Like these are things that you can't see with the naked eye. Again, in the top, in the top middle, that thing's kind of moving a little bit. I'm not sure if that's a bug though, but I'm certain like the one I saw at first was. It, it like, it darted across like the microscope and I hope that we caught it. I'm so disturbed. You should never look at something this close. It's disgusting, it's terrifying, and I'm not here for it. I think that we've been able to conclude that this particular mixture, it really works. But I like some of the other mixtures, they really drew out more. So I think we move on to those. Ooh, ew, there's bugs. Ah, there's bugs on my hands. Okay, I'm gonna wash my hands because like there's probably bugs on it. Okay, so this is warm water with just salt. It's so strange because this water is very clean as well. The naked eye isn't really catching too much. I'm just gonna like try to quickly get a shot of the water. What the hell is that? We lost it. This is the water up close. There's a lot going on down there. I'm pretty sure I just saw something. Yeah, there's something swimming across this water. Anyways. <laughs> Very, ooh, a paper towel. Not very clean, is it? Nothing is clean this close up. Like there, there's certain things I feel like you just don't wanna know. And I was very skeptical because I just, I didn't wanna know. But the strawberry to me looks clear. Looks clean, I'm not seeing anything. Ew, uh, I don't know what that is, but I don't think it's a bug. I can only really tell based on movement. You know, based on like jump scares that these little guys are giving me. I'm just not going to assume it's a bug unless it proves it to me. I don't know what those flying things are on the bottom, but there's something moving in this shot. It stopped. Okay. I mean, I saw something on there, so I'm gonna throw that in the I don't think so pile. This one's interesting because it's very bruised. Ew. Yeah, this one looks like moldy. This doesn't even look like a strawberry. Ugh. So gross. I'm seeing things go back and forth on top of the seed here. It just went off the frame. It look. It feels like we're like looking at space, you know? It feels like I'm looking through a telescope into the, into the other world. The micro world. Yeah, the micro world. Nobody likes the micro world. This one, I feel wasn't as effective at bringing the bugs out as the vinegar one. Ew. But there are still little guys kicking around. If you know what I mean. There's still uh, something sinister going on around here. And there's like, just like a lot of extra dirt that needs to be washed off. Like there's just so much dirt kicking around. Now we're going to Heavily Salted Town. I'm excited for Heavily Salted Town because I'm even more excited for Cold Town. That water, it's looking weird. So let's get through this. I feel like I'm like doing my routine checkup. Yeah, like giving all these strawberries all their sound. I know. Giving these strawberries their checkup, make sure they're okay. This strawberry looks clean. Okay, there's something white moving across the screen but it's gone now. Yeah, I feel like the uh, the too much salt maybe just wasn't as effective. You're gonna try one? No, absolutely not. I'm absolutely mortified. I mean, I feel like I'm gonna be able to get over it eventually. It's just very fresh in my head right now and I don't wanna think too much about it. Ah! <laughs> 
Good God. I just threw the mic. Okay, I'm sorry, something moved and it was big. No. Yeah, I just broke the microscope. That was just the most epic jump scare from a giant bug that I was not expecting. Like, I was like, this is cool, this is chill, I'm fine. And I'm not fine right now. And I'm not gonna do that last bowl that was done perfectly according to the TikTok directions because I'm so scared. Terry's doing it because I don't what? want you to miss. Yeah, you're doing it. Set up the tripod because I'm gonna watch the microscope screen and you're going to do it. I'm not putting my hands back in there. This seems to have extracted the most and we just we gotta see what's going on in there. That was so scary because like I saw a bug and I was like, oh, it's a, it's just a bug. And then it was like, <laughs> and I was like, ah! And I dropped the microscope in the water. Microscope broke. We had to like turn it off and blow dry it, but it's working again. So here we go. Come on, Terry. I'm not excited about this. It's your time to shine. <laughs> My beautiful fiance who protects me from the bugs is coming. Hi everyone. Get in. Okay. I believe in you. This is the perfectly done cold water, quarter part vinegar, sprinkle of salt. It looks like a starry night. Okay, I mean, looks looks clean. This must be a good one. But maybe if you look at it a certain way, like maybe the ones that have bugs are the good ones because they can be ecosystems, you know? Nice chomp on a nice little chunk of earth. Yeah, like fertile. Maybe the good strawberries are the bug ones because it's fertile ground. Like I was saying, maybe that's what makes them taste so good. One time in elementary school, this girl was like, I don't eat fish. You eat fish? That's so gross. And I was like, why is that gross? And she was like, fish eat bugs. So if you're eating fish, you're eating fish and bugs. And I was like, I'm not ripping open the fish's stomach. I'm eating the meats. I'm eating the nutrients from the bugs. I'm proud to. What are you looking for a good one? You can't tell from far away. I don't know how people on TikTok are able to tell by looking at it with their naked eyes because I couldn't tell until I looked at it under a microscope. That's why I feel like some of the TikTok ones are fake. That's possible. Too. Like I feel like a girl put a centipede in there. Like just like kills a centipede for her TikTok, which like I'm not against. It's a centipede. <laughs> Kill it. Oh. Oh. Yeah, we got some comments be, flying by. Might just be dirt. Ah, oh, true. But yeah, I'm looking for like a seed-sized bug. Oh, that's you? I don't think you'll find a seed-sized bug. I think you're gonna find like a very like a microorganism. Mm. Clean. Maybe this TikTok girls thing is wrong, and what you gotta do is you just gotta put a ton of salt in some water and give it a go. Get rid of all the bugs and then. Ew, Terry. Oh, jeez. Oh, oh God. How's that? Does it taste good? No. Tastes like vinegar. Yeah, you're supposed to rinse it. Oh. It's sitting in its own filth. That's true. That's like taking a bite out of your bath water. The camera guy comes on camera and then he eats bugs. Mm. What does this world come to? Oh, you're done? Yeah, I'm out of here. Okay, well, I think today we learned a valuable lesson. And that lesson is there are little bugs everywhere. And they're probably on more things than just your strawberries. So if you're a germaphobe, this is a very bad day for you. If you don't care too much like I do, then it's, it's just a normal day. I'll get used to it. I'll eat strawberries again, just not now. <laughs> Looks like I got a lot of strawberries to eat. I just don't like the idea of eating it while it's alive, you know? Like maybe we should put them in the freezer and then I can only eat frozen strawberries from now on. Ugh. A lot of microorganisms can live. Shut all... up! Okay. And there's tons everywhere. Like they're on your skin, they're on your hair. Like there's little dust. Oh, du I hate dust because like I looked up a dust mite once. Yuck. Anyways, good night. Don't let the bed bugs bite. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you'd like to see me again, make sure you push notifications. And I will see you on the next one. Bye! Bye!